You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Hi all, I'm Sage and this is my wife Dania. Um, we're really excited for our upcoming wedding on the feet of June. It's a Friday and so far we just want to thank everyone who is excited with us and we're looking up to meeting with you guys on that day. It will be amazing. Um, I'm sure my wife has got some reminders <laughs> of, what, of how we met and things like that. We will be delighted to see you all that day. Um, thank you already in advance for those that would, you know, take days off and things like that and, you know, come from afar. Um, yeah, we're really, really, really happy. So the funny um, story behind how we met, to this day, I feel like, we both have like a different um, account on how we met because he, mm -hmm. my husband feels like it was, I think, two days or a day after I know we, the day we actually met. So um, we met um, in 2015, the 20th of May. I know the date. <laughs> 20th of May 2015. Um, it was at a, well, the CLA... Yeah, um, it was it was like an Independence Day celebration. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, the CLA, yeah, Cameroon Star Association, Association activities yeah. and things like that. it was a football competition, really. And, yeah, uh, I think she was just there with her friend, and uh, yeah, there comes a handsome guy who come up to her. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and she fell, she fell for it already. <laughs> That's and too yeah, far. Let me bring you guys back a bit. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I think that day was a Saturday, obviously. So me and my friend had just um, left church. Um, at that time, I was still going to the um, SDS, which is Seventh-day Adventist Church. Um, and so we had finished church and everything. And I was at my phone, oh, do you know what? Let's just go to this um, Camonian football tournament, which I had actually never been prior to that day. So it's really 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 funny how god does this thing so i was like oh let's go and you know that time i wasn't like too much into the Camoyan community um just about because of my mom and things like that and you know that same year that's the year that she had left for france as well so i was kind of like integrating a bit more into my um community and things like that and my very good friend um Magali, so we got to adjust. I kind of like convinced her, let's just go. So we went. Um, and I remember, um, when we got there, like I don't want to sound too cheesy, but it was a bit more like oh, all eyes on us. <laughs> I think because we came late and things like that, so we got there, and automatically, this um, elder I would say elder brothers of mine, you know, like some of our friends, um. They just looked at me and I was going there to say hi with my friends, you know, and things like that. And so they were just cheesing us and things like that. So it was a bit, it wasn't too cold, but it was a bit, you know, it was a bit chilly, it was a bit windy. So we went inside um, just to kind of like get, get away from a lot of things that were happening outside. Um, it didn't stay too long, did it? I think you were playing. When we got there, I think you were, you were sat with the... Um, I think it was yeah, like angry yeah. and things like and that. You were sat there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so when we went inside, you didn't take too long, did you? <laughs> he came barging into uh, where we were sat. Ever since then, it's been God. <laughs> to be honest. It's been God's doing ever since then. So, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you came barging inside, babe. And, you know, he's like, oh, this guy, with, you know, he still had like his football uh, clothes on and things like that. He said, hi. He introduced himself. My name is Sej. Um, what are your names? So my friend is like, oh, Magali. Then I'm like, oh, Daniel. So he's like, oh, are you both Camonians? So my friend is like, uh, no, I'm Congolese. <laughs> then I'm like, okay, yeah, I am Camonian and things like that. So he said, oh, would you guys want me to get you anything? So we were like, oh, no, thank you. We are fine, you know. Um, and that was that. And then he just, he said, okay, have a good day. We said, okay, thank you. So he left. And yeah, after that, you know, girls, we were just like, oh, okay. The way we looked at it, it was a bit cute, you know. Um, yeah, that he didn't really, 
he didn't think too much of how he was dressed or what like how he just came he was like, okay you know what let me come and say hi to these girls let me you know ask if they want anything and that was that so um fast forward to that day um actually yeah that just just during that day um i was we met again um at work my place of work at the time at oxygen nightclub um i think that they were having like um soiree like a white um all white type of you know event there for everybody that played that day and things like that so i was working there and you know i was just at the counter and you know i his face was his face that stayed with me so i when he came in uh, the club i knew it was him um so he came straight to me to say hi and he had this amazing perfume on you know i went on and on and on about it that day um uh, that night actually because i kept asking him oh you've got like a really really nice perfume on what is it and things like that so we just had a little conversation how are you um you know um so yeah he just he came to i was just asked i was just sending him oh you've got really nice colon on and things like that well what did you what did you actually say you didn't tell me what you had on did you well we don't normally say it do we <laughs> um well she she talked about the perfume i quite remember i'm sure it was a gucci guilty perfume or something like that but yeah. um she talked about it and my point there was just like oh how do we meet up again you are work at the mini and that yeah and that was how we carried on yeah you then you and went um, to you went to join your friends and things yeah, like that so I obviously um, i had i was at work so i carried on working um yeah. yeah that was that was that for that day so i didn't hear from him again until about what was it a week or so um, well unfortunately she didn't give me a number guy that's the thing and i just started texting her so because i'm sage i could always get the number the way i wanted oh um, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was it? I you got my number her. somewhere. Like, oh, I, got number. I have That's to it. this day. I want mm -hmm. to know who gave him my number, not because I want to start issues, but because I want to thank the person <laughs> for giving him my number because well, I didn't give it, it to him. So it remains a secret, except that person will sell me out, um, and I know the person up to oh, now. Yeah, um, it was it was a nice surprise because when he messaged me, I would I, um he messaged me i just woke up to a text message you know this unknown number i don't know oh hi he says you remember that from this day i was like oh yeah 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 yeah. first question in my head i'm like oh how did you get my number you know <laughs> um and yeah he didn't say anything nothing about it like he was just you know more interested like, oh how are you how was your day and so yeah that was just how we met and uh till this date he has not told me about who gave him my number um but um it's not really a problem right well, now. well it was a secret so except that person gives me that permission too and then i will i will just um, send the person because it was a blessing right. in disguise so it's, it was it was good um we've had like a, since then we it didn't take us too long to get very very close um um he was just very friendly uh very um bubbly like very how do how do i because i i think then or till now i'm still a bit more um reserve um i'm like, so short type yes so, so short. and then i wasn't much of a because then i wasn't really i didn't really know much about the i wasn't into the coming coming um Communion community. community whether yeah. it's the anglophone side or the francophone side i was more with people that i went to college with um here in england which were either Cam uh, congolese or nigerians or you know things like that so it was a bit of um like when we met it was new to me i had never really had a Cameroonian guy uh talk to me or for me to even give the person the opportunity so yeah it was it was nice we kind of we talked we got very very close very fast we became very good friends um and that's just the story and since then it has been a roller coaster um, uh, i was gonna use the opportunity to ask my husband to describe me in three words or say three good things about me only three not too much <laughs> 
Mm. Right. Um, there's a lot of things, but because she limited the questions to three things, I'll stay with the three. Um, when we were in school, you know, you usually get um, discipline masters and mistresses. This is like my discipline mistress. <laughs> um, she ensures I'm where I'm supposed to be on time. So she's basically, she's like an alarm clock. She reminds me of what I have to do, to be honest. Um, that's just amazing, to be honest. Uh, where I keep my things, she is the one who reminds me of where I've kept them. She just knows where, I don't know how sometimes she knows, but she knows where to find my things in the house because me sometimes I can't find my purse or anything like that. Something, you know, she is amazing with that. Um, another thing is, she is a go-getter. You know, she's very pushful with what she wants to get, which is amazing as well. I am a bit um, laid back Lay because back. I, I, I know how I will do it, but then I don't execute on time but um she just wants to do it and she just wants to push to do it you know even if you stop her somewhere she wants to get another room and she will get it so it's it's amazing um i've been that's that's the second one and then the third one is um her food i like her food um I think she's so dedicated with food that she sometimes she might not know it but she gets to cook what she doesn't even know she gets to learn it especially from because I'm from the southwest the, the anglophone region she is from uh, the francophone region there's certain meals she didn't know um mm. that she's just developed skills to do them and I like it it's it's good thank you mm, yeah yeah <laughs> Um, nice to hear. I'm just saying it because of you guys. I didn't, I didn't tell her some of those before, but yeah. I'm sure she might have noticed by school. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you should say it more. Yeah. So yeah, we turn to you. What three, three things you like about me? Three good things like about my husband. Um, one, um, I think he is super duper friendly slash outgoing slash um warm you know um i wouldn't say i lack that but especially like the warm part but i would say that compared to like him he is a bit more like warm and trendier than me um you know um i remember when i now like the amount of friends or uh, acquaintances or family really that i have it all boils down to him you know people that have accepted me that have done so much for me they didn't even know me from adam but you know they met me through him and they have loved me since then they ha they do anything for me and things like that and it speaks for itself it just means that obviously they are doing it for me but it's be really because of him um and it means he has really great relationship with people um so that's the one thing i really love about my husband um the second thing um is that he is like this I think that's the second thing he said about me. Um, for him, he's very, he's laid back, which is good for me, you know, uh, because sometimes I can be too pushful. I feel he, he might like it, but sometimes being too pushful as well, it can be a bit, there has to be a bit of a balance. So because he's a bit laid back, um, it has helped me a lot because then I have become a bit laid back as well um i've usually not been this laid back the way i am right now um sometimes maybe we have to do something uh financially i would use financially and you know i may be like oh no because i may you know uh i like to save or you know things like that so and he's just like look babe you need to have fun or we need to have fun let's just take this amount and just go on holiday so or just do something nice for us so i like that if it was just me i think i would just be safe 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 or you know things like that um so that's the second thing i like because because he brings up that 
calmness and that you know that laid back um factor in our household um the third thing i would say i like about him is i think how much he is dedicated to me um from the beginning let's just say from the first <laughs> from what <Real> changed <laughs> uh, from the first <laughs> day he met me um he I, I would definitely say he met me he liked me then he got to know me he loved me <laughs> and more and, and so on so on so he is very dedicated to me he's very um i mean there has been so many things so many things said or you know that he could have taken into consideration i think oh um but he's he stood by me you know or he's he's like for our relationship he had he had our um he had our back our back or i don't know if, if i should say you had like faith in our relationship um and that was just it and it doesn't matter what came our way um he was just like look this is the woman i want to be with and that is that you know so you know even in the house i may be more of the um you know <laughs> a bit hard <laughs> but he is very 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 loving and very soft and kind which i am as well i think he would say but obviously i think there's always one person that has um that Levels, does a bit more day. than <laughs> first day. so yeah he is so that's the third thing i like about all of my husband so yeah okay. i don't think we've we've done that was mm -hmm. quite good yeah but i can't stop this video to without thanking uh, um i'm um, god um it's been got all true and i really want to thank um god's servant um pastor Kome and his wife mm. they have and uh, madam irene Kome. um they have been a pillar to yeah you you can't imagine what you've done so far to to my family but i just thank god for you guys it will continue to to be the best for you um Whatever your wishes have, have always been for us. And I, I pray God will continue to bless you guys Amen. in that same manner. Thank you again, Pastor Kumemo says and wife. Yeah. I would really want to they thank you. They have really... Not limited to them, to our family. Uh, my family as well as Daniel's family. Um, you guys have been amazing. I don't want to start calling names and calling, um, citing incidents where you've been um, amazing and helpful to us. Mm. But you guys are the best. I really want to thank you all for all you've done to us. Thank you very much. God bless you all. So thank you guys for um, for listening. Um, we wanted to do this, you know, little video for you guys. Thank you for supporting us um, throughout our journey it doesn't matter whether it was like individual um whether it was to do with my husband or was me or collectively which is our relationship um we are really 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 happy to have you all uh, on our side um i don't know if you yeah, want to um, say anything else it's 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 it's, it's, just it's been mad thank you it's many thanks i it's know that mad. i can't i don't want like i said i don't i can't cite um the different in the scenarios or the different names but um our families friends um you guys have been amazing yeah and and thanks as well for sharing our uh for being part of our ceremony. yeah our, for being part of our big thank days you. thank you for our bridal party whoop whoop you know our my bridesmaids my lovely lovely friends and sisters and my husband's groomsmen who are my brothers um thank you guys so much for what you guys are doing what you guys have done you know the time the commitment you know the laughter and everything really um so we want to thank you and most importantly i think it has been god that has been our foundation or we have we realize that it had to be God to be our foundation for us to be here today. And I think for us to continue, it would remain God 
our foundation, not humans, not people, not, you know, it would be God our foundation. And I think he put us together. Only him will be able to have the last seat as well. Exactly. On that note, uh, we cannot wait to see you see you all uh, on the 5th. Um, you know, to take part uh, on a big day. Yeah. Um, again, dance. many thanks. Bye. Bye.